All right, up next, we got another ladies fight. I know we're both super, super pumped about these today. So we got Miranda Granger coming in. She's at, you know, sitting at a nice, pristine seven and one record. She's fighting Ashley Yotter, who, you know, I believe one of her most recent losses was against uh, Marcos, who we we're going to see earlier in the card. Mm -hmm. Correct. Yeah, so, yeah, th this is going to be a good one. Tee it up for us. Yeah, so, I mean, here's the thing. I think Ashley Yoder is, again, look at those records of those fighters who have been around a little while in the, in the women's divisions, you know? They all have, they're all very close. They, they've all close, fought each yeah. other. Uh, their records kind of represent, you know, seven and six here in this case. But th it's mm -hmm. just very close fights, man. And, and I think in this case, you're looking at a girl who's seven and one, and now we're seeing a difference in that, right? A lot of girls are starting to come in with these really buffed up records in the UFC, coming into UFC, and we're seeing a lot of juice there in, in, in our favor. And I do believe that Randa Marcos is a much better uh, fighter than a plus 162 in that fight. I have to believe that. I really do. Mm -hmm. And so looking at this one, I mean, Ashley Yoder, I, I, I really hope that she's the favorite because of the experience and only real losses are to good fighters and i don't see a size advantage or anything but she's got the experience so in her case that that minus 150 to minus 200 rating looks great but even when you look at granger right that seven one record to anyone who's been a recency bias gambler in the ufc is going to see that and be like you know that looks pretty damn good let me hop on that but striking looks a bit sloppy in her last fight she got choked out against the fence in a very weird way like someone kind of had her in, in in half guard and it really just finished it in, in in what was kind of an extremely dominant top position from what was basically half guard against the fence so she had no way of getting out of it and was completely slept and so those things mm -hmm. kind of scare me when you're coming to the ufc you know and so i really believe she's a plus 130 plus 190 underdog there maybe worse yeah i mean i to be honest this is a straight pick em. wow i mean you know what yeah, i so absolutely do you see value on either side yeah, yeah, of course. I think I think we're jumping on Yoder. I mean, if you're telling me she's a plus one ten, I'd at a plus minus one fifty, minus two hundred. That's a that's a fighter I'm gonna put the put the, put the bucks on. To be honest, I'm down. She's a little cutie too, so let's get it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So yeah, we're gonna be laying uh, on Ashley Yoder pretty soon Definitely. here as well. So that that that's three we're laying early. So just make sure you guys follow along. You know. Most definitely, you know, and, and Pies is going to keep wrapping them up as we go. And so, yeah, exactly. So we're going to be taking Marcos early. We're going to be taking Morono early and Yotter early. Stay tuned for what we decide between the Smolka and the Defratus fight. My boy, list them off. Let's go. Moving on. Subscribe. Hit that bell button below. Please we do We really that. appreciate it. Love that. Our Instagram is there. Chickety, chickety, Our picks will all be up on there. Twitter's up there. Our picks will be on there as well. And yeah, always a pleasure, Siraj. My guy, take it easy. Peace.